Hey dudes and dudettes, here with my first ever H1Z1 video. Now this is uh, going to be the start of a beginner's guide series of videos uh, to show you the basics, to give you a good base of getting into H1Z1 and surviving, and then it's going to show you a little more advanced stuff too. Uh, so, you know, hopefully if you're going to buy this game, you watch this first so you don't go in blind because it's pretty harsh. So first off, I want to show you how to open up your character sheet. That's what I call, you know, I call it, you'll see. To do that, you're going to either press Tab or I on your keyboard. And uh, it has everything here, <laughs> like your proximity, your account inventory, and stuff like that. And I'm going to go over these for you. But first, I want to start with your health, your stamina, your hydration, and energy. So, <clears throat> first off, we'll start with your health and we'll read what it says. An overall measure of your health. When zero is reached, you will die. Pretty self-explanatory. Health is like that in most games. <laughs> and the next is your stamina. A measure of how much endurance you have. As stamina is depleted, you will begin to move more slowly. So basically, anytime you exert yourself in the game, whether it be swinging a stick, swinging an axe, shooting a bow, anything like that, running, punching, you're going to deplete your stamina and it can slow you down. And running is very important in this because it you know, it's good to escape some situations. Next would be your energy, or basically your food. Uh, energy, a measure of how satiated you are. Eat to increase this value. Energy directly affects your ability to regenerate health and stamina. Uh, so you can see how important it is to keep yourself, you know, eating in the game because it keeps you fit and healthy for uh, running away and living. <laughs> Next is your hydration. A measure of how hydrated you are. Drink to increase this value. Energy directly affects your ability to regenerate health and stamina. Now I'm pretty sure that in this they mean hydration instead of energy because it takes both food and, you know, liquid to keep you healthy and fit in real life and I assume it's the same in the game. So they will probably be switching that up. Uh, all these have a little HUD down here in your right corner that they don't know if they're going to take out yet but the red matches up to your health of course the green matches up to your food or energy the yellow matches up to your stamina and the blue matches up to your hydration so keep those in mind they'll tell you what's going on with your body uh, in the game in the lower right corner next we're going to talk about your person what you can you know well all the stuff that you can put on your person uh, first you have a head slot here then you have a back slot so you know this would be where you place your hats and stuff and this would be where you place your backpacks then you have a belt a chest and a legs you start with stuff for these but we'll get to that in a second excuse me <coughs> Then you have your primary, secondary, and turretary. Uh, pretty sure I'm saying that right. <laughs> I should have said it fake like turretary, just to mess with people. <laughs> okay, since we uh, see what you start with here, uh, let's go over uh, some of the other menus in this, and then we'll get to your inventory containers. Proximity basically lets you see the items around you. Uh, if you drop something on the ground and you can't find it in the weeds or anything like that, you can get it. And if there's a, something you can see in one of the places that you can loot and you can't exactly reach it or get to it uh, with your click, uh, your pointer, you can press tab and it shows you proximity items based around you and you can drag and drop them into your items. Next is your account inventory. What this basically is, is anytime you spend station cash on something, it's going to go down here. You can see if you brought the uh, $20 package, you get all these. Three event tickets, one crate key, and two crates. And uh, the rumor is is that they will be, well, it's, it's not just a rumor. Some people said it's serious that they're uh, going to be allowing you to find some of this stuff in the game when you explore. So that's pretty awesome of SOE. Next, we're going to be talking about your inventory item containers. The reason I wanted to save this for last is because it's very important. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, what you have and start out with and what you can do with it and how to put items and so forth into these things. First, you're going to start with a belt pouch black jeans and a green army shirt. Now the jeans and the arm uh, and the shirt over here, they can be all kinds of different colors. I just got lucky and got an army shirt. So I'm camoed up. Uh, next you're going to start with a tactical flashlight, a bundle of gauze and a flare. <coughs> now the way this works for your inventory, it's not a uh, slot based one. 
uh, you know, where it's a bunch of squares that you put into or anything like that. It's not exactly weight based. It is number based. You can see here that uh, it's 0 out of 100, 10 out of 100, and 0 out of 90. Uh, that's the amount of space they have in them. And you can see here that the gauze and the flare take up five each. <coughs> so put these in your shirt and see now it's got five away. So it can only hold 80 if you put both in there. And then you can see over here the bulk. It says right there on the item, tactical flashlight, an angle head tactical military flashlight, bulk 50. That means it takes up a number value of 50. So keep that in mind, <coughs> uh, that it's a number-based value for containers. Now you can get other containers that have way more space in them. And uh, that's like backpacks and stuff like that. And I assume if you get cargo pants, you know, you're going to have more space than that even. Uh, in the beginning here, you can rip your shirt up and use it for cordage, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, that's a little more uh, advanced, and I can show you some of that after we explore a little bit because we need the space to show you some more stuff. Uh, that's pretty much what you're going to be dealing with for this entire sheet, except for two advanced pieces of it that I would call advanced uh, because we need to get a few things before I show you those. So let's get to where we need. When you first start out, you're going to need to search for these. You see these over here? These look like saplings. They are basically the start of trees. I assume start of trees. They could be shrubbery of some sort. And then you have these that have this silvery maple-like looking bark. Now, if you come up to these and press the Use key, which is E, you can take a wooden stick. You actually get a wooden stick from a tree. Pretty awesome, right? And then if you come up to these as well, you get a wooden stick. So keep in mind when you see these, you can always go up to them and harvest wooden sticks from them. And wooden sticks are very important because they... <laughs> They uh, get used a lot in crafting. So I want 10 of these wooden sticks to show you something and to explain some of this crafting to you. And we've got 10. So now let's get to those two tabs. First, we're going to explain the crafting tab. The crafting tab is where all your recipes are that you've learned and the five recipes that you always start with no matter the server you're on. And this is where you will be crafting your items. However, it's not where you're going to be learning your recipes. Remember that you know you can't uh, you can't just uh, go and start in the game and create these. You have to have the ingredients, and it tells you the ingredients down here. I should mention that. So let's go to the discovery tab. The discovery tab is basically where you're going to be discovering you all your recipes and uh, different things you can do with the ingredients you find in the world. And nearly everything has a use. I have not met something that doesn't have a use. So. Remember to do this on everything you find. Select inventory items to discover new crafting recipes. You can left click this and it throws it down there or you can drag and drop it. It looks like you can discover a recipe from these ingredients. Now you can see here without it, it is not highlighted. The discover, uh, discover button is not highlighted. But when you put this in it does highlight. So that means you can click it and find out a recipe. Now let's click it real quick. Wooden arrow recipe learned. That's awesome. However, just because you learned one recipe from this does not mean it only had one recipe. You have to put these back in and see, you can discover another one. You can only discover one recipe at a time, so keep that in mind to keep putting those back in there until you get no more recipes from them. Watch. Poonji sticks. Ta-da. And now let's see if it does it again. Let's put it back in. No. <laughs> there are 17 recipes to find. Add more components to begin discovering recipes to make from them. So what this means is that these other slots can be filled with other ingredients to mix with the wooden sticks to make items. 17 of these exist. So you can see how many things are already in the game. So let's go over to your crafting and see the recipes you made. First you have the punji sticks. These were the traps that uh, you know, you'll know you be seeing all over the map. Uh, these sharpened sticks will damage whatever walks over them. So anytime you're going through the uh, the world careful not to step on these because they can cause damage to you and they take eight wooden sticks see so we had to have eight wooden sticks to create these that's why I grabbed ten next is wooden arrow 
and it takes one wooden stick to make it. These makeshift arrows can pierce soft targets and do high damage with headshots. So when we get a bow, we'll need arrows. So let's craft some arrows real quick to show you. We'll craft all ten arrows. Wooden arrow times two. You can see that every stick you have makes two arrows. And you just press the crafting button down here, and it will do the work for you. And it will deposit the wooden arrow into your inventory. Now let's put those in our green army shirt. You can see arrows don't take up too much space. Now let's grab at least 10 more sticks. And then we're going to go on to the next video. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about the game. Remember to always stock up on sticks because once you leave the forest, you'll of course be able to go back into it, but you might not want to waste the time to go back into it. Okie doke, there we go. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. I'll see you in the next one. As always, take care, be safe, and be cool to each other.